The EU UN Spotlight Initiative held the Survivor Summit in Lagos with the aim to end sexual harassment in tertiary institutions. Wife of the Vice President and Executive Director of the Epin Ends Initiative, Mrs. Dolakbo Shibajo, who was present at the event, called for more advocacy on the preventive measures towards rape, sexual molestations and other abuses. I hope we will encourage stiffer penalties, as many people have said already. But I fear that we may all be thrown under the bus. Not every lecturer in every university is raping the students. Not every girl in every university in Nigeria is being raped. We must learn very quickly to isolate and identify the ones that have chosen to take the wrong path. If we don't, entire universities, entire polytechnics, entire colleges of education will be thrown under the bus. Other dignitaries present at the event include Lagos State First Lady, Dr. Mrs. Ibijo Kesonwolu, the representative of the Deputy Senate President, members of the academia, non-president, among others. Whenever there are issues raised by students, you hardly get justice. What you get in return for these students who come out, who own up, is victimization. Female students who summon courage to talk about their experience in the hands of lecturers will only get more intimidated in the hands of fellow or other lecturers within the campus. They threaten them, they ask them to come up with more facts. Even the ones that have been made available are sufficient enough to handle these cases. But the management will sweep these cases under the carpet. Some of the victims of this menace from different high institutions of learning also share their harrowing experiences. I got um, surrounded by five guys and they, they asked me where I was going to. I said I was going home. I was still with my teary eye and everything. And the next thing someone is jacking me from my hood and they dragged me to a lonely street. And um, the leader of the gang was asking me a lot of questions where my child was, if I, was, if I had a child, where's my boyfriend. It's like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any of that, but, but um, at the end of the day, I ended up being um, <laughs> abused uh, in the most gruesome way ever. I was annually um, um, abused and I was made to actually bath in front of them for their own pleasure. I found myself in a very violent situation with a man I didn't know and he hurt me. He beat me up. And he raped me. And at that time, of course, I didn't know anything. I didn't know I could go and get help. I could go to hospital, nothing. Panelists at the event focus on the sexual harassment in tertiary institution bill, which has killed second reading in the Senate, the challenges and the possible way forward. I think it's high time that campuses are sensitized on what the bill is about and how this bill affects us as students. As you brought an argument that the bill targets them, that you don't make a law to target people. And we said, no, we cannot make this law to target tomato sellers in the market. There are people responsible. And that law, in fact, the jurisprudence of criminal law is that you identify people who are responsible and you target them. So, we need the support of every civil society organization to come for that public hearing. Because it is the direction that the, the public hearing tools that the committee will eventually adopt. As the advocacy against these vices assume a geometric progression, expectations are high that sexual molestations will cease to exist in Nigeria. Mercy Emmanuel for Plus TV Africa.